In the previous video, we learned how to control the whole arm using inverse kinematics. Now, let's control the wrist and grabber of this mechanical arm. First, add an empty cube and resize it if needed. Select the armature, go to pose mode, and select the grabber bone connected to the wrist. Add an inverse kinematics constraint and choose the empty cube as the target. Set the chain length to 1 so it controls only that single bone. Reduce the influence slightly for smoother motion. Do the same for the other grabber as well. Try it out in object mode. You'll notice one grabber isn't working properly and is trying to move the whole arm. That's because we forgot to set the chain length earlier. Once we fix it, both grabbers move correctly. But now, when the grabbers move too far from the cube, they start deforming oddly. To fix this, we'll keep the cube close to the wrist. Add a copy location constraint to the cube and choose the empty sphere as the target. Enable offset to keep a small gap between them. Now, let's control the wrist rotation. Go back to pose mode, select the wrist bone, add a copy rotation constraint, and choose the empty cube as the target. Adjust the proper axes to prevent unwanted twisting. Finally, try moving and rotating both controllers. Now the wrist and grabbers move perfectly together. And that's how you control the wrist and grabber of a mechanical arm in Blender.